May the 20th, 2019. Guys, you're looking at uh, the National Weather Center's map, and uh, you can see in the center of the country, coming out of Texas into Oklahoma, going north from there, you've got tornado warnings in the red, you have tornado watches, you've got uh, flood warnings, you've got severe thunderstorm warnings, all of it's lining up uh, in one of the places that it always does, and it's really been getting hit hard this year. I want to say this, this is Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday could be worse than this, but if you look at this, you notice a couple of things. Winter weather advisory still in California, north of there. And uh, going through Colorado, you've got uh, winter weather warnings. You've got uh, winter storm warnings and uh, even freeze warnings down into the upper elevations in uh, Arizona, guys. So, you uh we've got quite a different climate than we're used to and it's all because of grand solar minimum but you can see your red areas uh through central oklahoma and coming here into southwestern missouri that is your tornadoes let's look at the radar again you can see this pattern that's been setting up day after day but coming out of texas into oklahoma and moving north of there the missouri this red pattern indicating where the worst storms are and there's a lot of rain in it it's already soaked saturated ground we've been talking about that quite a bit but you guys it's 4 43 p.m central time as i'm doing this still got a couple hours of daylight and sometimes these things will roll all night after this heat builds up it it's uh, got cooler weather behind it and north of it and uh, what they're thinking is that may help to absorb some of the tropical system that's off the uh, east coast. Let's take a look at that. Now this update was at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 2.30 Central. And uh, as I talked about last night, uh, we've got warm water. We've got a lot of warm air in the south. There's a kind of a high pressure area protecting Alabama and Florida right now. That may help slow this thing down. And they're saying that a cool system or a cool front will help to absorb it. But you can see that... Uh, According to this, we're already at a 70% chance. Remember, it was 40% for a five-day forecast. This is the two-day forecast now. So it's saying showers and thunderstorms associated with a broad area of low pressure located several hundred miles southwest of Bermuda are showing signs of organization. Uh, Although recent satellite wind data suggests that the system currently lacks a well-defined center of circulation, environmental conditions are expected to be conducive for the formation of a short-lived subtropical or tropical cyclone later today or tonight. Again, thing is uh, developing rapidly. Even early this morning as I was waiting for this afternoon update to come in, I noticed that it seemed on the uh, Caribbean satellite to be an area of rotation trying to form and we'll take a look at that but it's saying that uh, an air force reserve reconnaissance aircraft is currently en route to investigate the disturbance interest in bermuda should monitor the progress of this system the next special tropical weather outlook outlook will be issued at 8 p.m tonight now it's saying that uh Conditions are forecast to become unfavorable for further development by late Tuesday. That's tomorrow, and the disturbance is expected to merge with a cold front on Wednesday. And you can tell even the five-day forecast, guys, not much movement because they're saying that uh, it's really not going to be moving north very much at all because that front is already over the top of it. You'll see that in the Caribbean satellite. And then by the time it pushes further, uh, then it should be absorbed into that cooler air. Now, this is the wide view from what they call the Caribbean satellite at NOAA. And uh, you can see the center of circulation starting to form. It, this morning, uh, it started wrapping. And if you watch very closely right there, guys, we'll pull this up. Uh, you can see that we do have circulation. It's a good thing this will be a short-lived storm. But in this area last year, we were watching one that came in, guys, and did all the massive flooding through the Carolinas. Remember that? And take a look at this close up and look just in this area. And you can see some very fast rotation in these last few frames. And 
quite sure that's the area that they're watching. Earlier this morning, there was actual rotation trying to form in this system. But I think right now they're focused on this section of this disturbance. But you can see very high cloud, uh, cloud tops popping up here in the last few frames right above that center of turbulence right there. So guys, we're watching this. You watch it. The I want to show you one other thing that's uh, interesting. It's on another hurricane link. All of these are on our website. But it has to do with Oklahoma and Texas in that area. Now guys, what you're looking at is part of my Fox hurricane system. And this watches this western part of the Gulf uh, outside of Texas and Louisiana. But what they're picking up and what they're indicating in their modeling is starting today, if you notice at the bottom right, it starts over May 20th, we see the storms. Then we see this rotation spin around and another long line come in through tomorrow into Wednesday on the 22nd. Again, watch your timestamp. We're going to the 21st, 22nd, coming in across the Mississippi River in the uh, delta of Mississippi south of Memphis. You know, watch this. So the storms are not going to let up in that area for the next few days. So guys, plan accordingly. Again, this is a hurricane tracking system that uh, gives the models of the extreme weather. And it's definitely showing some going up until, again, Wednesday. Now, guys, if you want to keep a closer eye than uh, what I can put up a couple times a day, you can come here to our website at bpearthwatch.com. All of these links, if you look down, hurricanes, Fox, hurricane information, National Weather Service, all your satellites, earthquake uh, information, things like that are here. Now, with what we're seeing in the weather, it, there's a perfect timing with a deal that we have worked out with my Patriot Supplier, our oldest uh, sponsor hundred dollars off their four week or one month food supply this has a 25 year shelf life but you can need it this year depending on the weather it's just good to have in within that 25 year period more than likely you will need it but guys the food is good enough some people eat it or more but anyway come here and click on this link it will take you over to where you can get the uh, breakdown on all the ingredients uh, what all is involved in it, but you've got, uh, there's over 24,000 reviews, by the way, averaging 4.8 to 5.0 stars. And so come here and come here and check this out, guys. You can, with that and the water filters you guys are getting, you have a upper hand on a natural disaster or any bug out situation. So do it. Hundred dollars, guys, that can go a long ways. And, uh, if you break that down, that's not very much money per day. Heads up, be safe.